Good afternoon, beer buffs, and I'm back with you for a review of my beers around the world. And it's out of Iceland, iron stocks we heavy. So let us get a cool pour on. Cheers. <laughs> Thirty bloody degrees Celsius in March. What's that all about? So I do need cooling down with this one. But before I get a pour on, here's a quick ad break. My ad break is go and follow my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, my beer channel, but my other YouTube channel. And I'll post a link at the top of the page if I can do that. I think I can. And it's basically my vlog about me as a Welshman living in Texas and just everyday kind of stuff. But I'm, I did it a while ago, but I just started it again. So go and follow me on that. Top of the page, go and take a look. It's up there. So cheers, folks. Support. I support your support. Thank you. Let's get a beer. Yes, let us do get a beer. And it's 8%, so it's a wee heavy. It's what you tuned in for, isn't it? We, we heavy. Oh, hi. It is we heavy, lad. Oh, I, I, and I, I specifically, I brought out the Derby Tap, my favourite little glass for this pour. Um, it's kind of on our bucket list, me and the wife, to go to Iceland. So uh, I definitely have to visit this brewery for sure. Um, yeah, so like I say, I'm going all over, aren't I? I went to uh, Korea for a beer. Korea for a beer? I didn't li literally go to Korea. Um, I found a Korean beer. And then, where did I go then? Oh, back to England, back to Blighty for uh, a beer. And now I've travelled further north from the UK up to uh, Iceland. That's how they talk in Iceland like this. It's like they're out of the West Country, eh? With the cows everywhere. <laughs> no. No. Not at all. It's a dark beer, right? We heavy, which is a Scotch ale, I believe. Scotch ale, we heavy. It's um, if you're wondering what a we heavy is, it's a malty and rich ale, uh, classified as a Scotch ale, basically. Um, and this particular one is made with Icelandic grown birch smoked barley. Chalk that up. Uh, and it's eight percent, like I say. So they're quite strong. These um, wee heavies, we heavy, <laughs> we heavy. It's too heavy for me. Nah, it's not. Um. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> me, me. Um. Yeah, tastes a little strong. Glad it's a short pour. Um, it does have that malty richness to it for sure. It is a beaut. It is a beaut. I've had um, uh, Einstock beers before. Um, they do quite a few. I'll talk about them in a bit, obviously. But um, you get them around. It's cool. And actually, they, they, they're a cool brewery. You know, I've kind of highlighted in the past some of their beers and they've given me a little thank you, kind of thumbs up kind of thing. So, and they are quite big. Well, you got to think they're international in a big way. I mean, I'm, where am I? Down in the, not, I'm not at the equator, but it's a hot part of the world and you're getting these lovely Icelandic beers down here. Viking history in Scotland goes back more than a thousand years. We've crafted our wee heavy in the spirit, I can't help it, in the spirit of that colourful folk and brewed it with smoked barley and spiced with angelica root, a fabled herb ancient Vikings used as currency. Ah, that's interesting. Surrender your taste buds. They have no choice but to be conquered. There you go. Um, yeah. Is a bit of gum for you. Actually, 
I'm always like this with beers. The more I taste it and get into it, the more I enjoy it. And it's really come into the foreground, especially that kind of multi, multi richness of it. It's really, it's a really good, uh, it's a really good ale. Yeah, um, Einstock Olguero, as its proper name is, uh, they are based 60 miles south of the Arctic Circle, so not far, chalk that up, in the fishing port of Akari, 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 probably pronounced something like that. I do apologise, I'm not quite versed in all this. Um, so, you know, my first language and my second language are English and Welsh. Not Icelandic, but I try. So, um, the brewery itself is part of the Viking brand that can be traced back to 1939. Very old. Established in the town of... In 1939, it was established in... Excuse me, what? Sigler Forjo. And my writing isn't great either, so... I don't help the matter, does it? You know? Uh, so there you go. Um, have a look. You know, they got a nice website. It's not all in Icelandic, so you can actually read it if you're uh, if you're uh, an idiot like me. <laughs> but um, there's not many of those around. So yeah, there you go. Check it out. Um, I do enjoy their beers, and I've had some of their beers. Let's have a little bit more of a taste. And I was going to say deep delve. I don't delve too deep, do I, in these things? Oh yeah, I'm enjoying that. It's lovely. It's um, I've chilled it as well. It's um, it's kind of one of those beers that you think you know we heavy and it's malty and richness that you could just warm your bones by the fire on a cold, cold evening in um, in Iceland. Uh, you know, find that little um, tavern, Icelandic tavern. I don't know what they call them there. They call them tavernas in Greece. I know that because I've been several times. But yeah, you know, after a cold day out in the snow in the fields and then you warm it and they got a big roaring fire. Oh, lovely. And you have this. I'm drinking it in bloody bacon, Texas. <laughs> 30 Celsius. What is that in Fahrenheit? Please uh, write below because I don't recall. 11 years in Texas and I still can't figure out Fahrenheit. I guess from an early age it's ingrained in your mind, you know? What you brought up with and it doesn't change, does it? Like my accent. Still people are like, ah, what are you saying? But anyway, uh, I digress. Let's get into a few beers that they do. Um, it's all Icelandic, so it's Icelandic this, Icelandic that, Icelandic this. I think this is maybe the exception to the rule, just called the we heavy. We heavy. Oh, hi. Um, I like the axes. I like the artwork. It's kind of pretty cool, really. Uh, so, what have we got? Uh, Icelandic white ale. Uh, they do a porter, if you like that. That'd be nice on a cold day, wouldn't it? A, a toasted porter, it's called. Um, if you like a bock, like myself, they got the Icelandic doppel bock. Uh, now I've had, I think I had the white ale previous. I'm not sure if I've had the doppelbock. I've had a few. Uh, they've got an Arctic berry ale, which is kind of a fruited ale. Oh, look at the light shining through those trees. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful evening, really. It's nice in the shade. And uh, the birds singing, sorry. Uh, all in the same sentence. And they also have the hoppy summer lager. I do like a lager, as you well know. Actually, the two previous beers I've done for Around the World beers were lagers. So it's a little bit different today. So yeah, there's a few. Check them out. Have a few if you can find them. <coughs> Enjoy them like me. Sorry. And um, yeah. Thank you for your support. Like I say, go and check out my little vlog on YouTube if you get a chance. It's a bit of fun, you know, a bit of nonsense if you like all that crap. Um... But anyway, but I will be back with another beer next week. Where will I go? 
where will the, the waves take me across our great oceans? Who knows? We shall find out next week. Until then, oh, I didn't rate it. You nearly caught me off guard. It's a solid nine, honestly. This is brilliant, fantastic beer. So there you go, rounding off with solid nine, and I'll see you next week. Cheers.